Understanding, until then, a phrase guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, until then. This is a common phrase in English that can be a bit confusing for learners. So, let's break it down together and understand how and when to use it effectively. Until then, is a phrase used to refer to a future point in time. It implies that a certain condition or situation will continue up to that moment. For example, if someone says, I'll see you next week. Until then, take care. They mean that you should take care in the time period before you meet next week. It's like saying, between now and that future time. Understanding a phrase is easier when we see it in action. Here are some examples. I have a meeting at 5 p.m. Until then, I'll be working on the report. We'll know the results on Friday. Until then, we can only wait. These sentences show that, until then, is used to talk about an activity or state that continues up to a specific point in the future. A common mistake is confusing, until then, with, by then. While, until then, focuses on the duration leading up to a point, by then, refers to something that should be completed before that time. For instance, I need to finish this task by then, means the task should be completed before the specified time, not just continued until it. The phrase can be slightly altered for different contexts. For example, until that time, or until the time comes, convey similar meanings but may fit better in certain sentences. It's important to understand the context to choose the right variation. I hope this video helps clarify the phrase, until then, for you. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try using this phrase in your daily conversations and writings. Until our next lesson, keep practicing and exploring the nuances of the English language.